Hello boys and girls. It's story time today. Oh, the book's upside down. Can you see? This one is, I'll just readjust the camera, The Snail and the Whale. This story is by Julia Donaldson and the pictures are by Axel Scheffler. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is the rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. As she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to snay sail, said the tiny snail. So she wants to go on the boats. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and then and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, shh, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it! I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of this tiny snail, a slivery trail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, what did he say? Come with me. And he jumped on. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on its tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. It's quite tricky to hold this one. With fiery mountains. Wow, look at the volcano. And golden sands. Beautiful beach. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves, where the stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on its tail. Ooh, they were scary, the sharks. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. As she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand, she gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel really small. But then came the day, the whale lost its way. There were speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with its ear-splitting roar, making him swim, oh no, too close to the shore. Look, poor whale. This is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and she started to crawl. 
I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the black board, it's black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail. Oh, the teacher turns pale. Look, said the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, that's it, save the whale. These are the children running from the school, fetching the fireman, firemen, digging a pool, squirting and spraying and keeping the whale cool. So look, they're putting lots and lots of water to try and rescue him. This is the tide coming back into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting, hooray, as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock, who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail so small and frail with her looping curling silvery trail she saved the life of the humpback whale then the humpback whale held out its tail and on crawled snail after snail, after snail. Look, they all want to go for a ride. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue hump backed whale. They're all going for a swim together. The end. Bye bye boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story of the snail and the whale. See you soon.